Hi everyone, I'm um, going to go through another update for the Tap Titan 2 Master app. If you've never heard of the Tap Titan 2 Master app, you should. It's a fantastic app by a lovely gentleman uh, called Jack, a uh, lovely fellow. It basically, this app integrates with your game. So it uses the data pulled from Tap Titan 2 and has tons of fe features like equipment optimizer, artifact optimizer, skill builds, plus tons of tips, um, spreadsheets galore, all the information to help you optimize and play the best you can for Tap Titans 2. Um, I have done a full guide on all the menus, options, top to bottom on this. I'll link this above and put it in the descriptions below. This is an update because now, for the very first time in a long time, it's available on Apple iOS. So before it was Android only, but now you can get it on both Android and iOS. So you can get an Apple and Android, which is fantastic. So I'll put a link to both in the description. Give it a go. So first of all, there has been quite a lot of updates since my last video on this. So the recent, well, these, these recent recent updates is uh, stuff like uh, raid modules. They've got a couple of miscellaneous fixes, uh, which I'll go through some of the updates in a moment. But uh, the main thing, I'll go a quick overview on this system. So when you get to the, the font screen, this is the font screen, the head menu board. You see so you've got your artifacts, your top left. This basically gives you to all the artifacts you currently have collected on the game. And you click on it, it'll give you much more information about it. So the, the amount of relics you have in it, the artifact level, the cost, efficiency, and everything. And then you've got the equipment advisor. Now, you click on anything you need to update or change. You click on the pencil icon at the top right because you've first got to set it. So with all the menus, you've got to set what you currently have for, for it to update the information. So you click what build you have. So if it's a clan ship, pet, heavenly strike, shadow clone, and then you click gold source and then your most powerful hero. If you're not too sure, just keep it at, at uh, not set. Once you click save, it'll give you the recommended one that was always at the top highlighted. So it says I've got all my recommended apart from my sword primary boost should be that one. So then I just go back into game and go to my sword primary boost, which is this one, equipped it. And then I'll go back into the app, press the refresh one, which is top right. And you can say it's now changed to the top one, which says I've got the best one. So now I've got all the best equipment is suggested at the top, which knows you then know which is the best ones to use. Um, Skill point optimizer, exactly the same. You first click your build at the top right. So you click clan ship build. If it's empty, you click the plus plus icon to select which build, give it a name. And you can also unselect certain skills if you don't want to use them. For example, the uh, if you don't want to use poison edge maybe in your build or anything like that, you can turn them off. But if you want to keep it just normal, you click that. Um, and then refresh and press start and what it do it'll give you the based on your current skill points it'll tell you the next recommended one from the top going down to the bottom so that's just a quick overview of that one skill points just told you how many skill points you are artifact optimizer exactly as it says again you hit the pencil icon and you collect which build you have how many points uh, percentage you want to put into it compared to uh, your non relics and how much you want to put into books of shadows and this is in uh, DT royalty is for how much you want to put it into during tournament and royalty is outside tournament. Again, you put all the gold source, the amount of artifacts you have. Now, if you have relics available, uh, I haven't. So if I go into my main game, because I haven't got much uh, uh, relics available, it won't give me a suggestion on what uh, what artifacts to optimize. If so it says, please check your step amount or minimum efficiency. So it basically means it just says I should be maximizing that artifact max uh, let's have a look what I can change so you can either have it in grid mode or you can change it to default list or grid mode I think most people have it in default list because you get a list of them in which order instead of just the top one uh, and basically it tells you which ones you should level up next and how much it says on oh, my next one I should put 100% into Orion's charm and uh, sometimes it might not appear that means you haven't got enough artifacts um, sorry enough relics to level them up so what I would recommend is to Obviously, do a new run, prestige, and then try again or refresh it. 
Tournament just tells you when the next tournament is and what the bonuses are. Profile is the exact same informa information you get in your main profile in game. So it would be the same one as you get here, that profile. So that profile information would be the same one all the other stats you'll get in here. Again, it gives you clan information as well if you've got clan data there. And this is a new feature, so BOS, so you can copy it to clipboard and display BOS like in-game. And this is a statistic panel, so it saves your statistics each week if you want to add it from um, each date, oh, sorry, each date if you want to add it from your clan raid members as well. So it's all in one place if you want to put together on spreadsheets, see who's doing well, who's not doing well, and who's leveling, that sort of thing. And this is all customizable. So you click the pence icon and you can move stuff around. You can add stuff. You can take stuff away. You just put the bottom here. So you can minus, minus. And you want to move them different positions. Then click save. And it will customize all the front panel. As I mentioned before, uh, there's a lot of features in here. So you can do reporting, your ray data, your clan data so so when you do raiding you can down um you can upload so when you do raiding you can download statistics for that raid to see who did well who did not well who did off strat damage on strat damage and that sort of thing it's tons of information as i said i would link the full guide video in the description above and below which goes in much more detail in each each option well this is just a quick update to let you know it's available on apple store as well as android and to let you know that there's a couple new features involved and it basically it's been updated to so check it out if you have any questions about the app or if there's any problems or bugs you can go to the about me section and then you can message jack directly so he's got to send an email or catch him on discord and oh look it says thanks to me that's very nice but uh yeah just credit to all those lovely people and for jack for making this because is i know a lot of people use this as a great help um, i just thought i'll make it aware because i haven't mentioned this app in a, in a uh, i don't know how long a couple months maybe but it's definitely worth checking out i hope this update has been useful for you if you have or have not known already and if you have liked if you have liked this video like and subscribe to help support the channel and do catch me on twitch i twitch i stream twitch every sunday at uh, 8 p.m gmt time gmt time so drop in any questions or q and a's and i'll hopefully be doing a large 12 hour stream shortly so I want to announce the winners for the uh, voucher giveaway. That should be uh, not next weekend, but the weekend after. But we'll announce the date when that happens. Apart from that, have a lovely day and I'll catch you all soon. Take care. Bye.